On to question 73. A sum of money is split among A, S and M so that the ratio of the shares of A and S is 3 is to 2. Okay, A and S is given as 3 is to 2. And the ratio of the shares of S and M is 4 is to 5. S and M is 4 is to 5. If this was 4, it's helpful. So if this is 3 is to 2, A, S and M, right? 3 is to 2, I can write it as 6 is to 4, right? That makes life easy for me. I multiply with 2. And when I know Sunil is 4 parts, then Meeta is going to be 5 parts. Now I get 1 ratio. Uh, or you know how to do that. We've seen the ratios lesson. Multiply this with 2 and then link it up. Uh, don't start, uh, don't, don't waste too much time. Just directly do it this way, right? 3 is to 2, you observe that you want to bring this to 4. Multiply it with 2 and then just write uh, this to 5 and we're done. Now the difference between the largest and smallest, right? Difference between the largest and the smallest, A minus S is coming to two parts and that is given us how much rupees is it it's rupees 400 if two parts is 400 then sunil's share sunil's share is going to be what four parts is what twice of this which comes to 800 and that becomes the answer for this question right for some of you who have not seen this before right if you're wondering if two parts is 400 then one part is 200 four parts is 800 do not use variables for these questions and waste time Another thing for you to observe over here is 2 parts 402 into what is 400 into 200. Do the same thing over here into 200. 4 into 200 comes to 800 and you get the answer very quickly. And also these are the kind of papers where you know getting 4 to 5 questions correct is getting you to 80th percentile. You need to get 4 to 5 questions correct in uh, 40 minutes. Right? Definitely doable. We just need to use the right approaches and go quick. On to question 74. Anul, Bobby and Chintu, right? We'll just take it as A, B and C, jointly invest in a business and agree to share their overall profit in proportion to their investments, right? A ratio and partnership, the partnership part. Now, Anul's share of investment is 70%, okay? A invests 70%. Now, his share of profit decreases by 420 if the overall profit goes down from 18 to 15%, okay? 3% drop in the profits. His share is dropping by 420. Find Chintu's share of profit increased by 80 if the overall profit goes up from 15 to 17. Increase of 2% there translates to 80 rupees. 2% of some total is 80. Okay, we can find out 15. Uh, the amount in INR invested by Bobby, right? What is the investment? The only thing pertaining to investment is something around the profit, which simply means these 18% or 15%. What does that mean? This 18% or 15% refers to percentage of the total investment which is which is the profit profit as a percentage of total investment is what these have to be otherwise we won't be able to solve the question itself so these percentages given to us profit percent equals profit by investment the total investment into 100 percent right that's what it means so how do we go about this this is what you have to notice 15 percent is the linking term over here if 15% was this profit percent, right? Was this profit percent? How do I quickly find out Anil's share, right? Anil's share over here or Anil how much he gets when it's 15% and who the other two, I'll just write them down, B and C over here, right? Now to get A, it's a simple thing. Just see if you can adopt this. Explaining is the longer part. Once you understand it, you can implement it very quickly. So 18 to 15 is a 3% reduction, right? 18 to 15 is a 3% reduction. If that is equal to 420 rupees, right? 420 rupees decrease in the share. It happens when there is a 3% reduction. But when I want to know in 15% level how much A receives, if 3% translates to 420, then 15% translates to how much? Nothing but into 5. Into 5, right? 3 into 5 is 15. Multiply this as well with 5, and that's it, um, which comes to 2100. A gets 2100 as a share when the profit percentage is 15 percent right that's it do the same for c as well we have a chintu share of profit increases by 80 if the overall profit goes up from 15 to 17 percent so two percent right in the case of uh, chintu is coming to 80 rupees then one percent is half of that 40 i need to find at 15 percent level what's a share at 15 percent 15 into 40 15 fours are 60, we get 600, right? 600 is what we get over here. Now, what else is given to us in this question? Anul's share of investment is 70%. So that means 
the share would have been 70 percent right if 70 percent is 2100 then what is 10 percent going to be 10 percent is going to be 300 then 600 would have been 20 percent right 20 percent would have been 600 so in the total investment 70 percent is that pertaining to a 20 percent is that pertaining to c then b would have been 10 percent over here right the remainder the remaining over here out of 100 percent 20 percent 600 10 percent has to be 300 would have been the share of profit now the question is what is the amount diner invested by bobby over here right bobby over here we need to find that what's the total profit at 15 percent total profit is equal to total profit is nothing but sum of all of these which comes to 3000 right i'll just clear some uh, some of these and make some space now this 3000 over here this 3000 rupees divided by the actual investment which happened into 100 percent should be my profit percent of 50 right that's the formula profit over here profit by investment to 100 percent the profit is 3000 um, by investment to 100 percent that is 15 percent because that's what we started with if the profit person is going to be 15 percent we wrote all these values done that's it so simplify this and um, you'll get the answer so 15 over here i can divide and i get a 200 and investment is nothing but the percentage symbols are cancelled investment is nothing but 200 into 100 20 000. the amount invested by bobby is nothing but bobby is 10 percent of 20 000, which is nothing but rupees 2000 option 4 is the answer here a mixture contains lemon juice and sugar syrup in equal proportion fine if a new mixture is created by adding this mixture and sugar syrup in the ratio of 1 is to 3 okay so we have lemon juice and we have sugar syrup over here initially it's given to be in equal proportion okay 1 is to 1 so what's the total parts over here total parts is two parts 1 plus 1 total two parts for two parts of total we have one of sugar syrup and one of lemon juice right it's obvious now if a new mixture is created by adding this mixture and this is the mixture over here and sugar syrup pure sugar syrup which is coming in again right in the ratio 1 is to 3 this is in the ratio 1 is to 3 if we already had two parts i need to bring in six more parts of only sugar syrup and nothing else no lemon juice over here then the ratio of lemon juice and sugar syrup in the new mixture is going to be what simply add them up one is to seven right think about it for every two parts of mixture we had six parts of sugar syrup is coming in that has to be added to that particular column we get one is to seven is the ratio over here right again papers where you answer about five to six questions or four to six questions in 40 minutes and you're at the 80th percentile already you clear sectional cutoffs right uh, you just need to pick and choose the right ones and spend time with them in a village the ratio of number of males to females is five is to four fine the ratio of number of literate males and to literate females is two is to three okay we have two categories over here uh, we have uh, males and females literate and illiterate okay uh, literate males to literate females ratio is given illiterate males to literate females four to three is given if 3600 males in the village are literate absolute value is given for literate males 3600 then the total number of females in the village i need to find this total over here right that's what i have to find the right total in these places okay now we have to make use of ratios over here now actually the ratio of number of literate males to literate females is given as 2 is to 3 right if two parts is 3600 then one part is half of it 1800 1800 into 3 if you know the tables 18 threes are 54 you'll be pretty quick with these else you can always you know write 2x is 3600 x is 1800 then 3x is 3 times this which comes to 5 400 it's just a waste of time and space right look to avoid these over time the next ratio given to us over here ratio of number of illiterate males to illiterate females uh, are 4 is to 3 so therefore we'll take it as 4y and 3y fine and eventually we're going to get something in the ratio the totals are going to be in the ratio 5 is to 4 right total of males and total of females that's it 3600 plus 4y the total males divided by 5400 plus uh, 3y um, has to be 5 by 4 right 5 is to 4 
cross multiply and 4 times 36 is 144. Um, practice a lot of sums, we'll be quick with these. Uh, here you get a uh, 27,000 right? plus 15y. So y is nothing but uh, take 144 there and we are going to be getting a 126 and then followed by two zeros, 1 to 600. So y is 1 to 600. 3y over here, 3y is going to be 3 times this, 36 and 18, so 3, 7, 8, 0, 0. You add this up, 2 zeros, 8 plus 4 is 12, and 1 carry up, and then a 3 and 1 more, and you get a 43, 200. That becomes the answer for this question. Pinky is standing in a queue at a ticket counter. Suppose the ratio of the number of persons standing ahead of Pinky to the number of persons standing behind her, that is, we're not including her, is 3 is to 5. Okay, the total number of persons in the queue is less than 300. What's the total number going to be? Let's say those ahead of her is 3x, behind her is 5x. So 3x plus we include her and then 5x. 3x plus 1 plus 5x is the total number of people in the queue and that is going to be less than 300. In the maximum possible number of persons standing ahead of Pinky. Ahead of Pinky is going to be the first one, three parts. I have to maximize 3x. That's what I have to find. 3x plus 1 plus 5x is less than 300. 8x is less than 299. x is going to be less than, uh, divide this. And what are we going to get? Uh, we're going to get 3 8s are 24, 59. Uh, 59 is uh, 7 8s are 56. And then 37, 3 by 8. x has to be an integer. What is the uh, maximum possible value of 3x? What is the maximum possible value of x? max value of x is over here, going to be 37 right the largest integer less than 37 3 by 8 is 37 so the maximum possible value of 3x right which is what we have to find that's going to be 3 times this which comes to 111 right 3 times 37 which is triple 1 that's the answer for this question the petrol consumption rate of a new model car uh, palto it depends on its speed and may be described by the graph below okay uh, from one of those earlier years, CAT 2001, right? So you had a 2.5 uh, is what? Fuel consumption uh, liters per hour, fine. Here we have a speed kilometers per hour. So the faster you go, you are spending or rather you are consuming more, but liters is given not per, per kilometer, but per hour, right? Per hour over here, fine. Uh, Manasa makes the 200 kilometer trip from Mumbai to Pune at a steady speed of 60 kilometers per hour, right? This is what she's traveling at. Uh, what is the amount of petrol consumed for the journey, right? I need to find the time spent, right? The time for which she's traveling over here is nothing but 200 divided by 60, uh, which comes to 20 by 6, which is 10 by 3, 3, 1 by 3 hours. Now for 3, 1 by 3 hours, what is happening over here? The fuel consumption over here is how many liters per hour, right? At 60, it's going to be 4 liters per hour. So every hour, uh, it's consuming 4 liters, uh, right? I can just keep it as 10 by 3 itself, 10 by 3 hours. And uh, 4 liters each hour, for 10 by 3 hours, liters consumed is going to be equal to 10 by 3 into 4, which comes to 40 by 3, which is 13, 1 by 3. That is 13.33 liters. Option 2 is the answer here. Another follow-up question, and once again, some of these questions are on the easier side from the earlier years because those were the days where you had two hour papers with about 150 to 200 questions, right? You had to answer them very quickly without a calculator. And uh, yeah, in these questions, you don't even need a calculator if you have nowadays, right? Um, a follow-on question over here with the same case types. Uh, Mansa, I would like to uh, minimize the fuel consumption for the trip by driving at the appropriate speed, right? We saw in the previous question uh, that the fuel consumption was 13.33 liters for that trip. 200 kilometers, right, and at 60 kilometers per hour, okay. Um, how should she change the speed in order to minimize the fuel consumption? Now, if you go faster, the fuel consumption is going up a lot, right? It's, it's a lot steeper as compared to the previous one where it's a little flat. The flatter one is what you have to go for by just observing the graph. If you're reducing the speed, the consumption is... Uh, reducing over here in terms of the R, right? You probably have to go for that. Here it's going up, it's, it's significantly higher. Um, so you can you can find out for both the cases, right? Uh, if it's going to be 
80, right? What's the logic here? 200 by 80. If it's going to be 80, the first case over here, let's look at that. That's the time taken. 200 divided by the speed, distance by speed, that's the time taken. For this much time, you're consuming 7.9 liters per hour. So into 7.9, right, which is very close to 8. I just need to approximate. 8, you can simplify over here. You get a 10 and you cancel this and you get about 20 liters or little less than that. You used to spend 13.33 liters. Would you want now consume 20 liters? Uh, no, you want to reduce it. You want to minimize. So it's definitely not going to be that. Uh, what about the other way around, right? So if it's going to be um, 200 kilometers once again, but I divided by the speed 40, which just takes me five hours now, right? It takes five hours, but five hours at what speed? Uh, or rather, at what consumption? 2.5 liters every hour. 5 into 2.5 is coming to only 12.5 liters as compared to 13.33 in this case, right? Here it just takes me 12.5. So, therefore, I have to reduce the speed. So, option two, decrease the speed is the answer for this question. A student took five papers in an examination where the full marks were the same for each paper. His marks in these papers were in the proportion of 6 is to 7 is to 8 is to 9 is to 10, okay? So, 6 is to 7 is to 8 is to 9 is to 10. In all the papers together, the candidate obtained 60% of the total marks. All put together, grand total, right, was 60%. Then the number of papers in which he got more than 50% marks is what, okay? Uh, a quick observation if you can make, right? It's, it's going to, you, you're going to be answering this very quickly, right? Now, if the grand total, right, a grand average is going to be 60%, right, or grand total, it's going to be 60%. It simply speaks about the average of all of this, right? All five put together is 60 percentage. It's given out of 100, right? Um, so what is the average of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That's nothing but 8 itself. Why? You can add them up and you get 40 and divide by 5, you'll get 8. Or you can notice that they are all in AP, arithmetic progression, right? One after the other, consecutive integers. So the middle term is going to be the average. And this average is nothing but 60 percent. That's it. If this observation you make, uh, you're going to be answering this very quickly, right? So how do we go about now? The question asks us to find the number of papers in which he got more than 50 percent marks. If eight parts is 60 percent, then if eight parts is 60 percent, then one, per, one part is going to be how much? 60 by 8, you divide by 4, you get a 15 and 2. 15 by 2 is 7.5%. So one part more is going to be 67.5%, 7.5% more. Another part is going to be another 7.5%, but that doesn't matter. I'm concerned about more than 50%. If 8 parts itself is 60%, I know 9 and 10 are fine. They all satisfy, they're more than 50%. What about 7? 7.5% less because if I'm reducing by one part, I have to reduce by, I have to reduce by 7.5% over here. I have to subtract, right? 60 minus 7.5 is 52.5. This is also fine. And if I subtract another 75, I get a 45% over here. This is not a pro, this is a problem for me. It's not working out. It's less than 50% marks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, in four of the papers, you're getting more than 50%.